Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, this is a, I guess it's a key safe. Yeah, why not, let's call it a key safe that I found on eBay, and it's one of those purchases that I remember sort of buying, but I don't really know why I bought it. I guess that, like a lot of these key safes, you're very curious to see how good they really are, since if you are locking a key up in here or, or something else important, you almost want the combination code to be more secure than the uh, the thing that you're keeping inside it. Um, anyway, so I think this is naturally set to all zeros. Zero, 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 zero. There we go. And there we go. Opens all up. Um, I assume that it's shaped that way so you could shove in a key or two. Let's shove in a bunch of keys. Uh, hmm, okay, well, not all keys. I mean, okay, yeah, this is quite a broad uh, key. So um, I suppose it's a little unfair, but it does show that this is a very odd space. I mean, you can sort of store some stuff in there, but not a huge amount of stuff. So all of this part must be... Um, just where the shackle goes down into the combination code at the bottom, uh, which does take up probably about a quarter of the whole space of the lock, which is not great design. Um, okay, let's have a go at decoding it. So the first thing I need to do is turn it away from myself. You can also trust me that I can't see um, this. The camera is there. So um, I think what you do is you make sure it's all zeros. Yep. Turn it all the way around like that. Push down, you see it disengage. Then we'll have to scramble all these wheels. Again, I can't see. Um, I'm just going to then start at the top and move them into the nearest gate position. There, okay. Then what we need to do is we need to cover it up, let go, do that with the lock and then scramble. Then we don't know what the combination is. Um, although I managed to scramble it back into almost all zeros again, but it isn't open, okay. So then we're going to do a um, shackle pull, and we're going to try, so that's loose, 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 all tight. And uh, you know, I've, I've just turned it, and I've just felt the shackle pull up slightly. So let's see, yeah, that's become tighter now. So it's, nine something, I think. Can't tell on this one, but if I get it into a number and then test the next wheel down. Yes, yeah, seven, nine, seven, I think. I think. Try this one. No. That isn't. Oh, it could be two. So those aren't right. So let's try this one again. I'll try things in a, a gate of some kind. Yeah, I swear it's that, then that. Try again on wheel two. Oh yes, that's, that could be tighter. Oh, wow, and we got it. So that was somewhat between numbers so clearly I didn't get that quite in the gates. So there you go quite a fun lock to decode clearly not that secure. Um, now I thought to myself looking at that shape doesn't that shape actually look a bit like yeah a lock but it's a little bit too big for which is really sad a euro cylinder if they'd only just made it a tiny like a tiny bit wider 
oh, this part, it would have fit one, but it's perfect for sliding in some kick cylinders. So you could pin these up with your favorite uh, challenge pins or whatever you like, put those in. And then I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice to carry some picks? And I thought, well, I actually do have some uh, small picks. So I've got some spare tension tools I can throw in there and they fit in really nicely. I could grab my favorite profiles of uh, finger picks. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a selection of them. Let's have a hook and uh, throw that in and a triple peak, let's stay there. And yeah, you can close that up and you've got like a little travel um, pick set with some travel picks, a couple of locks and a lock itself, which carries the locks and the picks, which you can practice decoding in. But there's a problem. This lock is absolute junk. When I um, cut away just then, I, I thought I'd try to reset it to zeros and stuff, and uh, and I did, but the whole lock, look, you can press the shackle down as if you're going to reset the code, uh, like that, see, it's really springy, disengages the inner wheels, and you can set it to whatever you want, but then it will not spring back up anymore. It, it can't open. I've tried shackle pull, shackle push, I've tried every position to, to, to decode it again, the whole thing is somehow broken um, and I just can't be bothered to drill out these rivets to, to find out why in a lock this cheap. Um, so yeah, whilst it's, it was a nice idea to have a, a lock uh, that you could decode that also carried locks that you could pick um, and also carried the picks to pick the locks, um, yeah, clearly this, this lock doesn't stand up. It might stand up to, um, a, if, if you stuck with just one number and didn't try to change it, maybe that would be okay. So I don't know for sure, but I think uh, buyer beware. And uh, certainly these unbranded key safes, yeah, not that great, are they? Anyway, if you like content like this, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And of course, if you have a comment about this junky lock or my silly, silly idea um, to have a, it as a lock that keeps locks in it, um, <laughs> <laughs> then um, please do have a comment below and uh, yeah, I'll try to reply to as many as I can. I read all comments. So, all right, I'll see you all next time.